Imagine a battery that slashes production costs by half and shrinks the number of cells needed from 4,400 to only 960. By eliminating traditional tabs and optimizing electron flow, this isn't just an upgrade, it's a game changer that could redefine the future of electric cars. What makes Tesla's 4680 dried cathode battery a breakthrough in EV technology? What makes Tesla's 4680 dry cathode battery different? Tesla is currently using 4680 cells to produce structural battery packs for the Model Y. However, these vehicles have encountered issues with poor charging performance and low energy density, leading to their swift removal from the sales catalog. The large size of the 4680 cells makes cooling difficult, limiting the battery's performance. These problems have become apparent, and Tesla recognizes the need for immediate improvements. A key factor in the improvement is the dry process. The dry process, dry battery electro, DBE, is fundamentally different from the wet process, wet battery electro, WBE, currently in use. The dry process eliminates hazardous solvents and oven firing processes, saving time and space, and is more environmentally friendly. Specifically, the dry process is used to produce the anodes of the battery, the conductive electrodes at the edges of the cell, rather than the wet process previously used. Tesla's 4680 cell suppliers, including LG and Panasonic, are working to reduce costs and increase the production of 4680 cells. If Tesla can effectively scale the dry anode method, the production of 4680 cells in battery packs will become cheaper and more efficient. So, what makes Tesla's dry cathode 4680 battery different? We'll give you a clear analysis here. First, the tablet's design. Have you heard about this? The tablet's design of the 4680 also impacts the manufacturing process and ease of production. Think of tabs as small knobs on the top of a regular battery cell. The absence of tabs means that the cell body production process does not need to pause to add tabs, reducing the likelihood of errors by eliminating a step and allowing for a quicker startup. The tablet's design of Tesla's dry cathode 4680 battery is one of the significant and appreciated technological breakthroughs, enhancing performance and reducing production costs. In conventional lithium-ion cells, metal tabs connected to the electrodes outside of the battery, and that enables current flow. However, these tabs can cause serious issues, like increased temperature at the connection points, leading to reduced battery lifespan or even failures. Studies show that hotspots can raise the battery temp by up to 20 degrees Celsius during a fast charge discharge cycle. Additionally, attaching tabs to electrodes in a complex process that slows down production speed and increases costs. Tesla estimates that removing the tabs could accelerate production speed by about 20% thanks to the reduction of this complex step. Furthermore, tabs concentrate current at specific points on the electrode, causing uneven current distribution, and that reduces the overall performance of the battery and can lead to overheating. Tesla's choice of a tablet's design addresses these issues by completely eliminating traditional metal tabs. Instead, the electrodes are connected directly to the battery's end through multiple small contact points along the edge of the electrodes. As a result, the battery operates at a more stable temperature, extending the battery's life, with the average operating temperature reduced by about 10% compared to regular tab designs. At the same time, the battery manufacturing process becomes simpler, which speeds up production and reduces costs. Tesla forecasts that the tablet's design could cut the production cost per kilowatt hour of the 4680 battery to under 70 bucks compared to the $100 to $150 kilowatt hour of traditional batteries. Furthermore, with a less complex manufacturing process, the startup time for a new battery production is faster, allowing Tesla to be more flexible in responding to market demand. Now, not only does the tablet's design improve durability and performance, but it also contributes to the increased energy density of the battery. With the space saved by eliminating tabs, Tesla can integrate more active material into each cell, resulting in higher energy density. According to Tesla, the 4680 with a tablet's design can get an energy density that's 5-10% to higher than that of traditional tab cells. This means that a battery pack of the same size can provide a longer driving range for electric vehicles or reduce the number of cells needed, thereby lowering the overall weight of the vehicle. The second difference, removing tabs. Why did Tesla decide to remove tabs from their batteries? 
Removing tabs in the battery design not only improves durability and overall performance, but also plays a crucial role in optimizing the distance electrons need to travel inside the battery. This directly impacts the battery's charge-discharge performance and its ability to deliver more energy efficiently. Eliminating tabs also shortens the distance electrons need to travel in and out of the battery, meaning less resistance and less energy loss during this process, which enhances the overall efficiency of Tesla vehicles. Experts suggest that in a tab design, the distance electrons must travel from distant regions of the electrode to the tab can be several centimeters, depending on the battery size. For example, in a cylindrical cell with a diameter of 18 millimeters, the travel distance can be up to 9 millimeters from the center of the electrode to the tab. This distance creates resistance differences on the electrode surface, leading to energy loss as heat, causing overheating and affecting the battery's lifespan. By removing the tabs in the 4680 battery design, Tesla has reduced the distance the electrons need to travel. Instead of going to the central point, electrons can pass through multiple connection points along the edge of the electrode, shorting the travel distance to just a few millimeters or even less depending on the location of the contact points. In regular lithium-ion batteries, tabs are metal strips connecting the battery terminals to the external circuit. They concentrate current from the electrodes, positive and negative, and conduct it out of or inside the battery during charging and discharging. However, due to this layout, electrons have to go a long distance from far points on the electrode surface to the tab, and that results in energy loss as heat as reduced electrical transmission efficiency. This change shows that Tesla is really committed to accelerating the improvement of their battery technology. The benefits of the shorter travel distance are evident in this change. As the distance electrons must travel is reduced, the internal resistance of the battery also goes down. Tesla estimates that the tabless design could lower the internal resistance of the battery by 5 to 10 percent, depending on the size and configuration of the battery. This helps minimize energy loss as heat, improves charge discharge performance, and extends the battery's lifespan. The distribution of current within the battery becomes more uniform. This improves electrical transmission efficiency, meaning more energy from the battery is converted into mechanical energy for the electric vehicle, rather than getting lost as heat. According to Tesla, reducing the electron travel distance can enhance the battery's energy efficiency by up to 5% compared to tab designs. Additionally, the tabless design accelerates charging for Tesla vehicles. With shorter travel distances and lower internal resistance, the tabless battery can charge faster and discharge more powerfully. This not only cuts charging time, but also improves the ability to deliver high current over short periods, and that's crucial for EV performance. Tesla forecasts that the tabless design could increase fast charging speeds by 10 to 15 percent, allowing vehicles using the 4680 battery to fully charge in less than 15 minutes. How do the structural advantages of the 4680 cell contribute to reducing vehicle production costs? Okay, so Tesla's new 4680 cell manufacturing process gives several advantages over the traditional wet process, particularly when we're talking about cost. It's estimated that the dry process can reduce total costs by up to half. This savings primarily comes from cutting expensive solvents and the energy-intensive drying process that's used in the wet method. Specifically, the solvent NMP used in the wet process requires recycling or disposal, significantly increasing production costs. The dry process removes these steps, substantially reducing material and energy costs. In addition to cost benefits, the dry process also increases production speed and is related to environmental protection. The dry process not only helps lower costs, but also accelerates production. By eliminating steps like drying and solvent recycling, the 4680 cell manufacturing process is a lot faster, and that allows Tesla to up their output without expanding their factory scale. Moreover, the dry process is more environmentally friendly, cutting the emission of hazardous chemicals and saving energy, thereby contributing to a lower environmental impact when making batteries. Are you curious about the reasons for switching from the 2170 to the 4680 cell? Well. Tesla's transition from the standard 2170 cell to the 4680 cell is driven not only by technical reasons, but also by economic benefits. One of the big advantages of the 4680 is its smaller size that allows it to serve as a structural support for the vehicle. This means that not only does it save costs in producing the 4680 cells, but also reduces the overall manufacturing cost for the whole vehicle. Technical analyses suggest that the 4680 can cut the number of cells needed in a battery pack, 
thereby decreasing the associated costs of cell interconnections and management, while also improving material efficiency. Tesla has claimed that the 4680 cell can help reduce the cost per kilowatt hour of energy by about 14% while improving energy density by an additional 16% compared to the 2170 cell. These figures highlight not only the potential for cost savings but also improvements in performance, making the 4680 cell an optimal choice for new models like the Cybertruck and Model Y. The ease and cost effectiveness of the 4680 cell can offer advantages over the 2170 for Tesla. The 4680 has a major manufacturing advantage due to its larger size compared to the 2170. The 2170 sure is tall and thin, but the 4680 is wider and more robust, and that makes making them easier. The larger size of the 4680 allows it for a reduction in the number of cells needed for each battery pack, thereby reducing the steps involved in assembling and connecting cells. Specifically, a battery pack that contains 4,400 2170s only requires 960 4680s to achieve the same energy level. This not only reduces production time, but also significantly lowers material and manufacturing costs. Moreover, using the 4680 cell allows Tesla to optimize space and increase energy density in the battery pack. With the number of cells needed to reduce from 4,400 to 960, Tesla can substantially cut down on the amount of material required to encase each individual cell. This not only saves space, but also allows Tesla to design a battery pack with a higher energy density, making the space occupied by the battery pack more efficient. The reduction in battery volume improves overall vehicle performance, particularly in high power models like Cybertruck. All these improvements could lead to a reduction in vehicle production costs, particularly for those high-end models like the Cybertruck. Tesla plans to make approximately 250,000 Cybertrucks annually, and to get this target, they'll need a large number of 4680 battery packs. The easier production process and lower cost of the 4680 cells will not only help Tesla hit their production goals, but also allow them to lower the price of Cybertruck, and that makes it more attractive to us consumers. What strategy does Tesla have to optimize 4680 battery production in the final months of the year? According to a report by Chinese Late Post citing internal sources, Elon aims to produce the first mass-produced 4680 cells with dry-coated electrodes before the end of the year and use them in customer vehicles. If this does prove effective, Tesla may abandon the 4680. Late Post reports that the 4680s currently installed in the Cybertruck are a hybrid type. The anode's been dry-coated, but the cathode has not. Tesla still sources them from suppliers like LG, where they're coated using the traditional wet process. Making the cathode with a dry coating is the most challenging part, but also the biggest leverage for reducing costs. There are also reports that Tesla succeeded in developing a high manganese cathode, increasing capacity by about 16% compared to current cells. High manganese cathodes are cheaper than high nickel materials, for instance, but their cycle stability is still too low to consider for EV use. The manganese-rich dope cathode materials for which Tesla has filed a patent could extend the lifespan of such batteries. Elon and the Tesla team have discussed using doped manganese cathodes, such as lithium manganese 204, to enhance battery energy density. However, a challenge is that these batteries may degrade more quickly, which is one reason Tesla has not yet scaled them up for mass production. However, 94% of the initial capacity has been retained after 50 cycles. While this is better than the previous manganese battery chemistries, it's still a lot lower than the level needed for EVs. Tesla model vehicles using the 4680 cells perform pretty well as they can extend the range by about 50 miles at a cost of $1,600. Clearly, Tesla's found ways to optimize the range of these battery packs, as we all predicted. Although mass production may not start until 2026 or 2027, recent information indicates that Tesla plans to install 4680s with dry-coated electrodes in vehicles before the end of this year. The new version of the 4680 cell is expected to be more efficient and may feature different chemistry, although this might not happen at the same time. What motivates Tesla to prioritize internal battery upgrades over purchasing from established battery manufacturers? One of the notable factors in Tesla's approach to developing battery technology, particularly the 4680 battery. While many of Tesla's competitors like GM, Volkswagen, and other automakers rely on external suppliers for their electric vehicle batteries, Tesla's chosen the path of developing and manufacturing their own batteries. This decision not only reflects Tesla's long-term strategy, but also gives several competitive advantages, helping Tesla maintain its leading position in the global electric vehicle market. 
Many of Tesla's competitors, like GM and Volkswagen, have opted to partner with major battery suppliers like LG Chem, Panasonic, and Cattle to ensure a stable supply of batteries for their electric vehicle lines. This strategy allows these companies to quickly bring EV models to market without investing heavily on internal battery technology research and development. For instance, VW has announced plans to build six battery production plants in Europe with a capacity of up to 240 gigawatt hours by 2030. On the other hand, GM, they've announced plans to build two battery manufacturing plants in the US with LG Chem, aiming for a capacity of 70 gigawatt hours by the end of the decade. While this strategy helps Tesla's competitors easily access existing battery technologies, it also has certain limitations. They need to purchase batteries from external suppliers, making it challenging for these automakers to optimize production costs and maximize profits. Battery prices, which account for about 30 to 40 percent of the total cost of an EV, are often dependent on suppliers and can fluctuate based on the availability of raw materials. Relying on suppliers also reduces automakers' control over battery quality and performance, which can impact the performance and reliability of their vehicle. The advantages of Tesla's strategy for internal battery development are clear. In contrast to the competition, Tesla's chosen to develop and manufacture their own batteries, exemplified by the development of the 4680 battery. This decision provides Tesla with significant competitive advantages. The 4680 offers five times the energy and six times the power of the previous 2170. Furthermore, the production cost of the 4680 is expected to go down by 56% due to its tabless design and dry cathode technology. These improvements not only help Tesla reduce their vehicle costs, but also enhance its competitive pricing in the market. Tesla also benefits from its control over the battery supply chain. Amid global material shortages and supply chain disruptions caused by the pandemic, Tesla's demonstrated its ability to adapt flexibly by fully controlling its battery production process. This allows Tesla to avoid supply chain risks and ensure they have sufficient batteries to meet the increasing demand for EVs. For example, in fourth quarter of 2022, Tesla delivered over 400,000 vehicles, capturing more than 20% of the global market, while many competitors faced battery shortages and disrupted production. While competitors like GM and Volkswagen rely on external suppliers for batteries, Tesla's leveraged its internal production capabilities to optimize costs. It's estimated that Tesla could save billions of dollars in battery costs as it scales up 4680 production. This helps Tesla maintain higher profitability and potentially lower vehicle prices, thereby continuing to expand its market share. Right now, Tesla's Model 3 has become the best-selling EV in the world, over 1.3 million units sold by the end of last year largely thanks to the cost and performance advantages of their 4680 battery. We hope you'll experience the utmost relaxation after watching this video. If you did, hit that like button and join your Tesla car world community by subscribing to the channel. Be sure to hit the notification bell icon and stay tuned for any fantastic videos coming your way. Your feedback and time are always appreciated, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Take care and God bless. Bye.